Also, are immediately transformed into those cosmic substances which must be present in these atmospheres. So, my boy, until these completed movements have come to an end, those beings existing on the planets who either have in themselves a particle of the Hanbled Zoin of any body Kesjin, or have at their disposal the surplanetary formation in which that part of the Hanbled Zoin was fixed, can, assuming of course that they have all the corresponding data for carrying it out, at any time attract such a body back to the sphere of the solid part of the planet and saturating it to the condensation corresponding to their own hotbled zoin in this way establish relations with the reason of that already completely formed independent cosmic unit and this attraction or as it is sometimes said materialization is produced, as I've already told you, by means of what is called valikrin, that is, by the conscious injection, in a certain way, of one's own hotblendzoin into the ends of these connections. Several times, even before this Tibetan case, this sacred process, Amsnoshino, had already been produced on your planet by the three centered beings of different periods. And about the information concerning these sacred processes of former times, several legomenisms existed. It was through these legomenisms also that this small group of Tibetan beings already knew all the details of the procedure relating to this sacred process. And of course, they also knew about the need of the special preliminary preparation for it. But having now no other possibility of learning all the secret sacraments, except only by attempting to enter into relations with the reason of their deceased chief, they decided to try to carry out this sacred sacrament upon the body Kesjin of their former chief, even without the said preliminary preparation. And so, owing to this risk of theirs, that proceeded there which served as the cause of the mentioned great misfortune. As my further investigations showed me, this great misfortune occurred in the following way. When these six great initiates, still existing with their planetary existence, began by twos, in turns, uninterruptedly for three days and three nights to produce upon the planetary body of their former chief the process Valikrin, that is, the inpouring of their own Hanbled Zoin into this body. Then, because of the absence of the said preliminary preparation of the connection with his body, Kesjin, their Hanbled Zoin did not go to the actualization where it should have gone, but only accumulated chaotically over this planetary body of their former chief. And since, unfortunately for them, during these same days a reinforced blending of the sacred active element Okidanoch was proceeding in the atmosphere above that locality, or as the beings say there, there were great thunderstorms, then between these two cosmic results, still only in the process of transition from one definite cosmic phenomenon to another, a what is called Sobrionolian contact resulted. And it was thanks to that contact there, on that small area of that ill-starred planet, that that accelerated cosmic phenomenon resulted called Notunichtono that is to say, the sudden and instantaneous evolution of all cosmic formed crystallizations, and namely, all the neighboring surplanetary formations were immediately transformed into the prime source substance, etherocrylno. This 
Soprionolian contact, or as it would be said on your planet Earth, this explosion was so powerful that during this noch to nichtono there, everything without any exception was transformed into etherocrylno. Both the planetary body of the chief of this small group of beings, as well as all the six other brethren there, who had completed this sacred sacrament. And likewise, in general, all the spiritualized or only concentrated surplanetary formations which were in the given region within an area of one shmana, or as your favorites would say, one square kilometer. Among these destroyed formations, reproduced both naturally as well as artificially by the beings there, were also all the what are called books, which belong to those seven terrestrial, genuine, great initiated beings, and other things which had served as means for keeping in memory everything concerning all the three genuine, sacred individuals intentionally actualized from above, and namely, Saint Krishnatakarna, Saint Buddha, and Saint Lama. Now, my boy, I think the sense of those words of mine will appear clear to you by which I define the significance of this charming military expedition. And namely, when I said that this was a great misfortune, not only for the beings of the given country, yet perhaps also for all the three brained beings of the whole of the planet. And so, my boy, it has now become clear to you how there on your planet all the five religions I named still remaining there at the present time, and which were founded on the teachings of five different genuine saints sent to the three-brained beings from above for helping them to free themselves from the consequences of the properties of the organ Kundabuffer, how Although all these five religions have gradually become changed, thanks always to the same conditions of ordinary being existence abnormally established just by them, until they were eventually turned for any sane mentation into children's fairy tales, yet nevertheless these five religions still served for some of them as a support for these inner moral motives owing to which during certain previous periods their mutual existence became more or less becoming to three-centered beings. But now, after the final destruction of even the last remnants of these religions, it is difficult even to foresee how it will all end. The last of these five religions, namely that founded on the teaching of the genuine messenger Saint Lama, has been finally and even with a crash, destroyed by that charming military expedition of theirs. The last but one, namely that founded on the teachings of Saint Mohammed, they are now destroying by means of the abolition of the former famous Fezes and the Yashmaks with the gracious assistance of the German Junkers. And as regards the final destruction of the still earlier arisen religion, namely that founded on the teachings of Jesus Christ, that is, the religion and teaching upon which the highest individuals placed great hopes, the contemporary three-brained beings there, who have already become arch-strange, are completely destroying it by organizing in that city of Jerusalem their university for the contemporary Jewish youth. The religion founded on the teaching of St. Moses, although it existed for a long time and is still maintained after a fashion by its followers, yet, owing to the organic hatred formed in the beings of other communities towards the beings who follow this religion, due only to that maleficent idea existing there called policy, infallibly, sooner or later, they will doubtlessly croak it as well and also with a crash. And finally, as regards that religion there which was, so to say, founded on the teaching of Saint Buddha, I have already told you, thanks to their notorious suffering based on a misunderstood idea they have from 